Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says settling with Omer Khadr was the responsible path to take because letting the case play out in court could have cost the government as much as $40 million. I can understand Canadians' concerns about the settlement. In fact, I share those concerns about the money, that's why we settled, Trudeau said from the Senate foyer where he was announcing Canada's new Governor-General. If we had continued to fight this, not only would we have inevitably lost, but estimates ranged from 30 to 40 million dollars that it would have ended up costing the government, he said. So this was the responsible path to take. Trudeau said Canada is a country that stands up for people's rights and he hopes future governments learn from this experience in the years to come. The measure of a society, a just society, is not whether we stand up for people's rights when it's easy or popular to do so, it's whether we recognize rights when it's difficult, when it's unpopular, Trudeau said. Earlier this month, the federal government formally apologized to Qatar, giving the former Guantanamo Bay prisoner a reported settlement of $10.5 million. In 2002, when Qatar was 15, he was captured by U.S. troops in Afghanistan after a firefight that resulted in the death of U.S. SGT Christopher Spear and the wounding of U.S. SGT Lane Morris. In 2010, before a military commission in Guantanamo Bay, Catter admitted to throwing a grenade that killed Spear and blinded Morris in one eye. Catter has subsequently recanted that admission, arguing that he only made the confession because he had been tortured and wanted to return to Canada. He is seeking to have the conviction overturned on appeal in the U.S. In 2015, a U.S. court in Utah awarded Spears' widow, Tabitha, and Morris $134.1 million U.S. in a judgment against Catter, based largely on the 2010 conviction. Both are trying to get a hold of Catter's settlement through the courts. In 2010, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled that Canadian officials had failed to protect Catter's rights under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms while he was detained in Cuba. Based on that ruling, Catter's lawyers were suing the federal government for $20 million in damages. In announcing the settlement, Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale said Catter's court proceedings had already cost the government $5 million in legal fees, and a settlement was financially the prudent move given the Supreme Court's ruling.